Why was mission so important to you in setting, the, setting that vision? Well, I think, um, I think mission is really important regardless of what organization you are, whether you're at a television network or a college conference or uh, you know, any company, really. It's, it's the North Star for your employees. I mean, why do we come to work every day? In ESPN's case, it was to serve sports fans. And we would talk about that frequently, and that was you know, kind of the prism with, within which we put every business proposal, idea, thought through. Does this serve fans, yes or no? Right. Yes, try to think about it more, no, move on. And uh, I think it's really, it's, it's critical for organizations. For me, uh, having grown up at ESPN, and yes, starting in the mailroom, uh, you know, when you deliver everybody's mail, you end up meeting everybody. <laughs> And uh, so after 17 years growing up through the company and moving out to Denver and L.A. for a short period of time and Dallas and Chicago and then finally back to Bristol, I felt like I knew most everybody in the company, whether that was literally true or not, didn't matter. That's how I felt. And I woke up one day and I was president, you know, and just uh, just happened 17 years later. And I knew our CFO, I knew our head of production, I knew our head of communication, our head of programming, and they knew me for 17 years. Just because I had become president didn't mean I became a lot smarter overnight. I wasn't gonna start telling our top producers, here's different camera angle to produce football or tell our CFO, I think I have a smarter way to deal with the banks. I mean, that just wasn't my thing. So I really adopted uh, taking on the culture. And I thought of myself as a servant leader. You know, how can I help you do your job better? Let me get those resources, either on our own or after we were acquired by Disney from the Walt Disney Company. And uh, that's really how I became focused on building the culture. The culture was already there. It would, we just sort of uh, put some afterburners under it and really made it made it flourish by talking about it, supporting the people that embodied it, and, and uh, you know, making it part of our thing.